Hello, my name is Leland Anderson, and I'm an assistant principal at American Heritage School, where I help oversee the Latter-day Learning programs. The purpose of this video is to provide you with practical strategies for using the Family School to support your summer school programs. I will begin by briefly highlighting four important strategies or principles of successful summer home schools. Number one, intentional leadership. Number two, helpful resources. Number three, consistent schedule of activities. Number four, warmth and joy. First, intentional leadership. Establishing purpose, vision, and goals is the first step to establishing a successful summer home school. Ask yourself, what should happen in the lives of my children as a result of our summer home school program? To answer this question, use a parent council followed by a family council to establish a family educational plan. Some families find it helpful to, to write about their goals and then discuss them by filling in the blank to the following sentence. This summer, I want my family or children to learn to fill in the blank. Perhaps you may want to deepen your knowledge of American history or world history. Perhaps you may want to read some great literature together or finish a list of books. Perhaps you may want to improve your writing skills or write some poetry or essays. You may want to expand your knowledge of art history and appreciation, or maybe you want to appreciate and expand your knowledge of classical music and composers. When you have a goal, then ask, what concepts, principles, and skills should be taught? How should they be taught? Second, helpful resources. Access to helpful resources can help you teach concepts, principles, and skills. The Family School is one of many resources that can help you teach your children. To use the Family School, sign up for an account at thefamilyschoolonline.org. You may wish to look online through an index of topics addressed in the Family School. You can also look at the table of contents provided with each subject. Or use the search function at thefamilyschoolonline.org to search for key terms and topics of interest to you. When you search online, two types of results will appear. Lesson Plans and resources. Lesson plans take 45 to 75 minutes to teach and are detailed and organized. Resources may be useful on their own or as part of an organized lesson. Your family home evening and family devotionals may also be benefited by the family school. One family recently enjoyed a family home evening lesson on the topic of kindness. The father used the search function to the family school online. He typed kindness to search for lessons and resources. A resource appeared in search results that caught his attention. It was a link to a blog produced by a woman who celebrated her 31st birthday by doing 35 acts of service. The family read and discussed the blog post. This led to a memorable discussion about kindness and acts of service that this family could perform for others. A spirit of love and unity was present. Some families listen to music and playlists as they travel, which they have found in the music appreciation lessons in the family school. Want to visit an art museum or a cathedral? Consider teaching lessons from the family school before or as you go. Traveling in the car? Take the family school with you. It is now available in an online format that is accessible on most personal internet-ready devices. Using the rich resources of thefamilyschoolonline.org is a wonderful way to enhance your summer homeschool program. The third strategy is to establish and be consistent in implementing a schedule of activities. Just as piano practice, soccer practice, ballet, violin, boy scouts, personal progress, or any other program requires consistency in order to excel, implementing a family educational program during the summer also is strengthened through a consistent schedule of activities. We recommend setting aside a fixed time, perhaps an hour or two or more every day, 
that you will fill with educational summer activities. Some families will choose to teach a formal homeschool lesson plan five days a week. Others will choose to teach two or three days a week, or another number. Whatever your decision, be intentional about it, and then be consistent. Putting in your time and your consistency will pay dividends. Fourth, warmth and joy. Make yours a memorable, positive summer. Just as the summer is warm, learning should be a warm activity. Let the warmth of the summer remind you of this. Learning is best in an atmosphere that is warm, comfortable, enjoyable, and uplifting. Plan learning activities that you can manage well. Notice the successes. Mention them, particularly your children's efforts and strategies. Leave yourself enough time to be flexible, to imaginatively play games and go on outings. Let the children choose or lead some of the activities. Break the routine for family vacations and be encouraging and grateful for a fun summer filled with relationships and growth. These are four important strategies for a successful summer homeschool. In summary, one, make a deliberate summer homeschool educational plan. Use a parent or family counsel to do this. Focus on the three questions. What should happen in the lives of my children as a result of our summer educational plans? What academic concepts and gospel principles should be taught? How should they be taught? Two, gather great resources. Consider using the family school as one of them. Three, plan a consistent schedule or use a calendar. Use time deliberately to carry out your family plan. Four, have fun. Make it a memorable, positive summer. Plan manageable learning activities and leave yourself plenty of wiggle room to break the routine. Be encouraging, positive, and grateful for a fun summer filled with relationships and growth. Thank you for watching, and we wish you success in your wonderful summer homeschool.